So this is unlike anything I've used or tested before on this channel. You see, this is the circle ring that doesn't just contain tech that has been in space before, but it can also measure your blood pressure straight from your finger on demand. And it has been validated in multiple clinical studies for accurate health, sleep, as well as recovery data. But is this fitness tracking smart ring any good? Now, I've been using the circle ring for a few weeks and in this video, I'll talk about its design, its specs, review the accuracy of its blood pressure monitoring, heart rate tracking, review its health, wellness and recovery data and much much more to find out if the circle ring is worth buying. Now speaking of where the circle ring starts from 249 US dollars but you can bring the price down by using my exclusive 10% discount code which I'll display on the screen right now as well as paste in the description box below. And there's four different colors to choose from ranging from grey, silver, a bright navy and a matte blue option which look pretty cool. Okay so when it comes to sizing this ring the interesting bit here is that there's only four sizes to choose from and you need to measure the base of the finger you intend on using this the most and then use the sizing chart online to order the correct size. So the base of my index finger measures 68 millimeters which is a size L as per their sizing chart and this size L circle ring fits perfectly on my index finger and I absolutely love the fact that this ring can expand a fair bit if your finger swells up during the night which is a problem for me unlike other manufacturers where you're kind of just stuck with the original size you ordered which could be a little bit too tight or a little bit loose depending on how your fingers are contracting or swelling during the day now i've got the circle ring in this bright navy finish in size l which i really really like okay so let's talk about the design of the circle ring and like i said at the start it's unlike anything i've seen before when it comes to smart rings and the first thing that came Came to my mind when I unboxed this was the word futuristic. This feels quite robust when you wear it and it's got this patented stabilization technology um, due to which the ring as well as the sensors inside it are always sitting nice and flush against your finger without being too tight. And the awesome thing about this stabilization tech is that the ring can compensate for any minimal movements in the sensors but whilst you're exercising so it'll still measure accurate heart rate data. Now the outer is made of stainless steel while the inner is made of a non allergenic material. Nothing too fancy about the materials here and like I say about most fitness tracking smart rings except the scratches. You see even though these things might contain elements of titanium or a stainless steel like this they will all eventually start gathering small scratches and marks when you do things like strength trading or any other form of metal to metal contact. Now, the circle ring does contain a small sensor bump right about here that contains sensors that do all of your activity, health, sleep as well as recovery tracking and I'll get to the data later on in this video but I'm glad that I don't need to worry about whether this uh, small sensor bump is in the right position or not given that stabilization tech makes sure that these are always sitting nice and flush in the right position. Now, there's no GPS antenna or anything like that here this thing is focused on collecting all of the raw data from your finger so things like doing all of the number crunching and tracking your location whilst outdoors will be done using the circle ring app on your phone. Okay so let's move on to the important bit and that's the health fitness as well as recovery data being tracked by this ring and there's a bunch of different metrics being monitored that you've probably never seen in any of the wearables before and I'll split this discussion up into a few different sections just for ease. So starting off with activities this ring tracks main activities like running, cycling, walking, swimming and there's also an anaerobic option here for things like weightlifting and sprinting. Now the app follows this rings based system which is quite familiar and it primarily tracks the calories expended during activities, steps in a day and active duration during the day along with the rolling average for the last few days which is nice and minimal. Now it's quite easy to see right on the home page here whether you've hit your goals for the day without having to dive deep into the app which is good and if you do want to dive deep the app gives a detailed breakdown of things like walking distances, average heart rate during activities, intensity of your activities, a detailed heart rate chart and trends for each of these metrics. Okay let's move on to recovery metrics and the first thing I wanted to talk about is sleep tracking. This is by far the most detailed and technical sleep analysis I have seen for a wearable thus far. I mean sure it gives an overall snapshot of things like sleep score, sleep efficiency and average resting heart rate right at the top here along with the typical sleep cycle breakdown for those who just want quick feedback. But if you dive a bit deeper within the app you'll see some metrics that you've probably never seen before and this is where the circle ring truly charges ahead. You see unlike other wearables that just measure your heart rate variability and summarizes 
is that in one metric. This ring keeps a record of the RR intervals, which is the time between the sharp spikes you see on an ECG graph that represent each heartbeat and uses all of that data to go and estimate further HRV metrics like SDNN, which is an indication of your overall heart health, RMSDD, which dives into how well you're recovering, the PNN50 used for stress and recovery tracking, as well as high and low frequency power to name a few. I mean, it even shows you how many heartbeats it has analyzed during the night and it does this once every second, unlike all of the other wearables that probably do this once a minute or once every five to 10 minutes. It even plots this thing called a Lorenz plot, which you uses your HRV data and can indicate heart health problems. I can't think of any consumer grade wearable that's out there that goes into this level of detail for every night's sleep, which is amazing. And this can help people really dive deep into the sleeping metrics and potentially identify sleeping as well as heart health problems. And I can confidently say that the sleep and awake times measured by the circle ring have been spot on and the sleep score as well as the metrics have been reflective of how I feel after waking up. And there's also automatic nap detection here which has been pretty accurate for me. And the circle ring is also capable of monitoring for sleep apnea whilst you're asleep which is amazing news. Right, moving on, another groundbreaking feature here is the blood pressure measurement. Yes, the circle ring is capable of measuring your blood pressure on demand straight from your finger. And this shows your systolic as well as diastolic blood pressure measurements within the app along with creating a moving trend after every measurement. All you need to do is answer a brief questionnaire within the app, calibrate the ring the first time you use it and it's all set up to take readings on demand. Right, so I'm going to take a blood pressure reading here on the circle ring first and then compare it against a blood pressure cuff and these are the results. It's good to see that the margin in error is quite small here and I'm quite impressed so far that this wearable has all of this tech crammed into this tiny device. Lastly, I want to mention the stress and energy metrics here which measure several other metrics during the day to estimate stress responses and energy level. There's not much detail around this yet but the data becomes more accurate the longer you use the ring and it can help identify stressful periods during the day where you might want to take it easy. And there's more features like arrhythmia analysis and menstrual cycle tracking that are coming soon within the app. Okay, so let's talk about battery life. And the circle ring is claimed to last between five to seven days on a single charge, which is quite good given the size of this wearable. And it comes with this charging cradle, which you can take with you um, wherever you go. And it's capable of charging the ring from zero to hundred percent at least two times. So this is a really good addition that comes for free with the circle ring within the box and in my testing the circle ring lost around seven and a half percent battery every night whilst i was sleeping and around four percent for activities lasting for around one hour each it didn't matter whether it was an outdoor run a gravel ride or an indoor strength training workout now overall the circle ring has been averaging around six days on a single charge with fairly heavy usage which is exactly as per the spec sheet so this is really good news okay so let's talk about the heart rate sensor accuracy of the circle ring and i've been quite curious to test this out given all of the stabilization tech that's gone into this to keep the sensors nice and snug as well as compensate for errant movement during activities and I've tested the circle ring out for a range of different activities like running, gravel riding as well as strength training sessions to see how it performs against my trusty ECG chest straps that are gold standards for heart rate measurements as well as my Garmin 400 970 which I've extensively validated against chest straps previously. Okay so let's look at a low intensity outdoor gravel ride first and the circle ring has been really close with the average heart rate on the ring being 95 beats per minute versus 98 on my Garmin chest strap with the calories expended also being close with 406 on the ring versus 331 on the chest strap. Now for outdoor running, the Circle Ring's average heart rate was 136 beats per minute compared to 148 on my Garmin 4Runner. But the calories expended estimated by the ring was quite a bit higher than the Garmin. And on another run, the calories expended has been quite close to that on my Garmin. Although my phone died towards the end where the app auto stopped the activity. And if that wouldn't have happened, it would have been even closer to the Garmin. So a bit of a hit and miss in the background number crunching when it comes to outdoor running. Okay, for indoor 
for strength trading this is where i see most wearables start to struggle because of all of the movements in my hand as well as for smart rings on my finger whilst i'm lifting as well as releasing weights but using the garment chest strap and the circle ring the average heart rate on the chest strap was 124 beats per minute with the circle ring estimating 112 beats per minute and 415 calories on the chest strap versus 435 on the ring it's really really close for strength training something which a lot of other wearables like i said start to struggle with so overall i think that the heart rate tracking and calories expended data coming out of the circle ring is pretty good so far in fact i think that the stabilization tech that they've installed in this ring is keeping the sensors so nice and snug that it's become one of the more accurate smart rings out there in the market and believe me I have tested a bunch of these by now. So I'm actually quite impressed by this so far. Okay, so let's quickly look at the app interface here. And I've shown the app quite a bit already and gives the summarized data right here on the homepage, which is good if you just wanted some really quick feedback. And the app gives the option to dive deep into data like here, which I can see is a sleep scope. But if I wanted to, I could click that and get another layer of detail with these metrics here. And I can go even further by clicking this detailed sleep information and get this super detailed page and that's pretty cool. Now, I'll be honest with you, this is not the swishest app out there, but it gives all of the information clearly with accurate details and an explanation of what each metric means, which has been super useful. Now, I won't dive into each metric again, but another cool feature here is this real-time monitoring where the app will show you your current heart rate as well as blood oxygen saturation levels in real time measured every second. And this SPO2 tracking is actually clinically validated, not just in the circle ring, but also in its previous generations. And when it comes to reviewing activities, the data shown post activity is decent. So for indoor strength training, you'll get things like an average heart rate, maximum heart rate, calories burned, a detailed heart rate chart and workout intensity chart. For something like an outdoor run, there's a bit more data available on top of that, like steps count, average cadence and a chart showing your steps during the run. Now, one amazing thing here is that all of the stuff I'm showing you within the app is completely free to all Circle Ring users. There's no money the subscription fees or anything like that here like you get for an aura ring and it's great to see that access to all of this accurate and in-depth data along with blood pressure monitoring is coming to customers for free just with the purchase of this ring so then what do i think about the circle ring now i think that the circle ring is unlike anything i've used or tested before I am a big fan of the flexible casing here which moves as your finger swells and contracts throughout the day. I like the stabilization tech which keeps the sensors nice and snug around your finger whilst you're doing your different activities whether that's gravel riding, um, just road cycling, strength training or outdoor running. Um, and I'm a data geek so I quite like all of the heart rate variability and sleep analysis that comes out of this ring knowing that it's been clinically validated in multiple studies. And do you know what? Blood pressure monitoring on a tiny wearable like this is truly groundbreaking. I'm really impressed to see that come out with the circle ring. And yes, the app is not the swishest app out there, but it gives me all of the data I really need in a clean as well as in a minimal format. Now, overall, I think that the circle ring is somewhat of a hidden gem out there and you should definitely consider buying this if you want a no nonsense and non gimmicky smart ring that does all of the things I've just shown you along with blood pressure monitoring in this tiny package without any monthly subscription fees. All right. So I just wanted to say thanks to all of you amazing subscribers and to new viewers. Don't be shy from pressing the subscribe button, especially if you don't want to miss out on upcoming wearable reviews, comparisons as well as tutorials. See you in the next one.